All right, folks, it's time for a PSA. Don't feed kittens cow milk. This week I rescued two little kittens. I think you can kind of see them right there. That's Zoe and Grover. And unfortunately they had been fed cow milk. This happens a lot. People mean well and they want to help kittens, but they don't have the right information and they end up doing something that can be deadly. Sadly, in this case, they had a third sibling who passed away before they came here. So feeding a kitten cow milk can truly be incredibly dangerous. For Grover, when he arrived, he was so sickly that he only weighed about 140 grams at two and a half weeks old. That's very underweight. He was emaciated. He was dehydrated from having persistent diarrhea. And he had to be given additional subcutaneous fluids for days. And while his sister Zoe was able to nurse on a bottle, Grover was so weak and so frail that he couldn't even do that. He had to be tube fed so that his body could gradually gain the proper nutrition it needed. All in all, it's taken Grover about three days to go from being in the state that he was in to now, finally, being able to nurse on his own from a bottle. Yay, Grover! This may sound kind of odd, but I feel like Americans in particular consume so much cow milk that we think of it as this like universal drink that every species consumes, but we forget that actually every mammalian species produces milk only for the purposes of feeding their young. And so humans create breast milk for their babies and cows create cow milk for calves and cats produce cat milk for kittens. So yes, all baby animals rely on milk, but they rely on the specific nutritional contents of their mother's milk. And as you can imagine, the nutritional needs of a large herbivore like a cow are pretty different from the nutritional needs of a small carnivore like a kitten. So please do not feed kittens cow milk. Let's talk about why you shouldn't and what you should do instead. Cat milk and cow milk are really different in a number of important ways. The first is lactose content. Cow's milk contains a much higher level of lactose compared to cat milk. And kittens lack the enzyme necessary to digest that lactose effectively. So when kittens consume that much lactose, it results in a lot of GI issues like diarrhea, bloating, cramping, and indigestion. The second difference is the protein content. Cat milk contains more than twice the protein found in cow milk. Having enough protein is essential for the development of their organs and their muscles and their tissues. So it's very dangerous for kittens to not have adequate protein levels in the diet they're consuming. The third difference is fat content. Cow milk tends to have a lower fat content than cat milk does, which can lead to insufficient energy for the metabolic needs of nursing kittens and that can lead to lethargy and poor growth. And finally, there are essential nutrients that kittens need to survive that are not present in adequate amounts in cow milk. Think of things like taurine, which is an essential amino acid that kittens need in order to survive. Cow milk doesn't have adequate levels of taurine and other essential nutrients for kittens, so that can have an impact on everything from vision to heart health to immune function, which is critical for little ones like these guys. So Simply put, cow milk doesn't have the right nutrients, fat content, or protein content for growing kittens. And it has qualities that are designed for baby cows that are actually not safe for kittens. Ultimately, feeding a neonatal kitten cow milk can lead to indigestion, diarrhea, dehydration, and death. So do not feed cow milk to a kitten. Okay, so if we can't feed them cow milk, what can we feed them? Well, we can feed them kitten formula. Kitten formula is specifically formulated to meet the nutritional needs of orphaned kittens. It closely mimics the composition of cat milk, so it provides the appropriate balance of protein, fat, carbohydrates, vitamins and minerals necessary for these kittens to thrive. And fortunately in this day and age, kitten formula is readily available in most parts of the US and in many other parts of the world. In the US, you can find it online, you can find it at pet supply stores, or you can even find it at most superstores. In other countries, you can also try online, try pet supply stores, or if that doesn't work, talk to a local veterinarian. Sometimes they'll be able to get it for you. People ask me all the time, what should I do if I find a kitten after hours and I don't have kitten formula 
and all of the stores are closed. What can I feed them instead? So first of all, I would say, remember that most kittens you find outside are not actually orphaned. If they're clean and in good condition, you can leave them where they are and their mama cat will almost definitely return. I have a great tool for helping you assess if a kitten is actually an orphan and I will link to it below. Second, remember that if a kitten has all of their teeth, especially those premolars at the back of the mouth, that means that this kitten may not be dependent on nursing at all. You can try to introduce them to that meaty, wet cat food. But if you encounter a kitten who you are sure is an orphan and you're sure that they're dependent on nursing, here are a couple things you can try. One, you can bring the kitten to a 24-hour vet hospital. A lot of vet hospitals will have supplies to be able to help. Two, you can seek help by asking around in online rescue communities. And three, you can temporarily use goat milk. You'd still wanna go ahead and either order kitten formula to arrive overnight, or make sure you have a plan to get some from the store first thing in the morning. Kittens should never go more than a handful of hours without proper nutrition, or they will be at high risk of death. Now, there are certainly parts of the world where there is just literally not kitten milk available. And so I do wanna to speak to that for a moment. Goat milk is definitely what we see the best results in, in terms of readily available milks that you can find from a grocery store, for instance. It is not the ideal diet for a kitten, but it is certainly safer than a cow milk would be. Now, I know there are countries where you also can't access goat milk. And if that's the case for you, just do the best with the resources that you have. Look for something that is low in lactose, high in fat, high in protein. I have a friend in Nepal who does kitten rescue and she actually uses like a diluted buffalo milk with success. We all have to do the best we can with the resources that are at our disposal. But if you live here in the US or in another country where kitten formula is readily available, be extremely grateful because this is going to give your kitten the best chance at survival and at thriving. We have the technology, it works great, and it saves the lives of little ones like Grover and Zoe. I'm so proud of these two for pulling through and I hope that this video has helped you to become a little more educated about why it's never a good idea to feed a kitten cow milk.